Hey, what's up guys? I'm Papa Joe and back with a brand new Call of Duty mobile video on my channel. And today I have all the new stuff for you that is supposed to appear for the fifth anniversary in COD mobile. And I'm going to summarize all the information for you. So I invite you to watch the full video and let's jump right into it. First, I'll start with the obvious things and then I'll go over the important things of the new season. The fifth anniversary will launch in more than a month, most likely on November 7th in COD Mobile, according to the in-game Battle Pass countdown. And luckily, data miners already found some hints about the big fifth anniversary during the brand new Season 9 Orbital Raiders update, revealing that the theme of the next season relates around stars, constellations, and zodiac signs, even though the official marketing, such as teasers showing various artworks of what to expect from the season, should start rolling out towards the end of October. On top of that, data miners like Leakers on Duty and Zorro discover this new epic calling card that reveals the new logo for the next season and points to the possibility of a Zodiac-themed fifth anniversary, even though the new Season 9 Orbital Raiders just rolled out today. Apart from that, something about the fifth anniversary should be revealed this weekend according to the developers. And of course, I will give you the news as soon as it is ready. One of the new things in the next season is obviously the new functional weapon. And since the new Type 63 Marksman rifle has been introduced for the recent Season 9, it seems that the Uzi, about which some hints have already been found several weeks ago referring to the new submachine gun, will be added to Call of Duty Mobile's fifth anniversary season based on the fact that no legendary blueprint for the Uzi exists in the files. It is expected that a mythic blueprint for the SMG will be introduced to the game for the fifth anniversary update, in case the Uzi will really appear in this year's Season 10. The confirmation is still missing, so as mentioned earlier, we don't know for sure if the Uzi submachine gun will get the next mythic weapon in COD Mobile, though there is some evidence to support it. Moving on to the new Battle Royale map for COD Mobile. Yes, guys, that's right. We finally get a brand new map for Battle Royale after three years, about which data miners found some references in the game files over the past months and which has been talked about by some content creators during the recent Call of Duty Next event. Based on the information so far, the new BR map is set to release with the new anniversary season and will be a completely new, original COD Mobile map that will be smaller similar to the existing Alcatraz map in the game. It is planned for every server, including the global server, and might also featuring a new mini campaign, similar to the live event for the second anniversary for the Blackout map. If you've noticed, the Alcatraz BR map is available in-game for two weeks starting today. And that's because you can currently collect a total of five map fragments in this version of Alcatraz to solve the new Easter egg that reveals the new Battle Royale map and its POIs in Call of Duty Mobile. The first fragment can be found near the cable car on Cell House by answering the questions with the correct answer option to collect the five fragments. For the first one, you must select the answer, I was in the UAC like you, to get the first fragment. The second fragment is located on top of Lighthouse. Select the option, he and I have business, and you'll get the next fragment. To get the third fragment, go to the ruins and select the answer, he's an insane terrorist, to get the next map fragment. The fourth fragment is located at the parade grounds. Select the answer, I'm here to see Makarov, to get the penultimate fragment. To get the fifth and last fragment of the new map, you have to find this RC remote at this tent. You'll then have the control of this RC car, and then you're gonna end up in Makarov's secret room Drive to the picture and click on view the poster and you'll get the fifth and final fragment. Once you have all the map fragments, click on this icon in the BR lobby and you will be taken to the new Battle Royale map known as Cry, which shows you the first teaser of the map and will have a total of five POIs. There is a small text for each POI that you can read through to find out more about the respective POI on the new Cry BR map for Call of Duty Mobile. Should the map arrive for the fifth anniversary, we can expect the next teasers 
for the new BR map at the end of October, as long as the developers don't decide to change their plans. It's been more than a month ago since the last update of the global public test server arrived, so I've received a lot of requests from you guys over the past days and weeks regarding the release of a new test server update. Even though an official release date for the new test server update for Global and Garena with content for this year's Season 10 and Season 11 hasn't been announced at the moment, it is safe to assume that it will arrive this month as the developers launch a new test server update every second month and the last update was released at the beginning of August. Since the last test server update for Global and Garena was released a few days after the Season 7 Eternal Ghost update, it is expected that the next test server update will be released next week at the latest. Still, you'll have to be patient before the next test server update for Call of Duty Mobile arrives. But as soon as it does, I'll upload a separate video with the link on my channel so you don't miss it. In terms of free rewards, Based on the expected theme around stars, constellations, and zodiac signs for the fifth anniversary, there are two new epic blueprints that already exist in the files and are related to the fifth anniversary theme. I've already showed you these blueprints for the AK-47 assault rifle and for the HDR sniper rifle in my previous video, and it's currently unknown whether these blueprints will be free or not. Additional rewards, such as the epic calling card, this epic charm, and this epic frame are expected to be released for the fifth anniversary. This epic Dusk character, which was created by a player for the character design competition in February, was chosen as the winner and will now be added to the game and will also be released for free in a new event during the fifth anniversary season exclusively for the Chinese server. It's highly unlikely at this stage that the epic Dust character will also appear in Global and Greena for the fifth anniversary. In terms of lucky draws, we can expect legendary blueprints in season 10 for weapons like the Switchblade X9, the RPD, and for the Groza assault rifle known as Aquarius, which was leaked a few weeks ago but hasn't been released yet. As mentioned earlier, the new functional weapon of the fifth anniversary update which will possibly be the Uzi, seems to get the next Mythic skin in the game, even though no model currently exists in the files, which of course may change next week when the new test server update is out. It is also expected that the Cosmic Traveler Lucky Draw will return next season, bringing back the game's first Mythic Operator, the Mythic Spectre T3 character, and its included rewards such as the legendary M16 Targonite 3 for purchase. As you'll have noticed, there isn't much known about the fifth anniversary at the moment, except of course the new Cry BR map, with some POIs of the new Battle Royale map, matching the discarded Ural Mountains map from Warzone, the new theme of the next season, and the new astrological weapon blueprints, which is obviously due to the fact that the next season will be rolled out in over a month. So the next few weeks will be very exciting for us, as the official stuff for season 10, the big fifth anniversary, will be revealed. And yeah, that's all that I got for you guys in this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you found the video informative. And hopefully I'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again.